What's up YouTube? Mike here again with another video and this one is kind of outside of the norm. It's not necessarily a product review, tech review. It's more kind of want to share with you guys why I switched back to the Apple ecosystem or why I switched back to Mac specifically. Now, if you follow my channel, you've been watching it for a while, you know that I love Windows. I love the Surface lineup of devices, whether it be Surface Book or the Surface Pro 4 and of course the upcoming Surface Laptop. But I'm a huge fan of Windows 10. I do love Windows, but I just kind of wanted to share why I switched to Mac. So you're probably thinking, you know, if you've watched my videos, you know I've reviewed a lot of the different Surface Pro tablets, but there's a few reasons. And really, first is Final Cut Pro 10. So if you've watched some of my uh, later videos, you know that I just started using it recently and I'm a huge fan of it. Mostly because you pay for it one time and that's it. You know, it's $300 or your other option is if you use Adobe Premiere and it's a subscription service. Now, obviously upfront you're paying less money, but the longer you use it, eventually it's going to compound and you're going to end up paying more. So I just, I really didn't like having to pay every single month and have that subscription and just the efficiency of Final Cut Pro as opposed to Premiere Pro is what really sold me on switching back to Mac. So like I said, I kind of, I've used Mac for years. I've had an iMac, you know, I've owned some MacBook Pros, MacBook Airs. And I have to say my favorite overall computer has always been the MacBook Air, but about a month ago, I bought a MacBook Air just kind of out of curiosity because I really wanted to try Final Cut Pro. So I bought a Mac, MacBook Air. It was the lowest end model you can get, but it had, you know, now they've got eight gigs of RAM and an i5 and it's only 1.6 gigahertz. But I downloaded the trial for uh, Final Cut Pro, tried editing 4K video on it. And obviously it wasn't perfect, but for the most part, it was very smooth within the timeline. There was really zero to a little bit of lag. Now I'm talking the bottom of the line, 1.6 gigahertz, three-year-old processor, and Final Cut Pro ran pretty good on it. It was usable. And I didn't try it with 1080p, but obviously I think with 1080p, you would have zero issue. And then when I exported it, it wasn't a horrible time. You know, obviously it's not gonna be as fast as the Pro version, or especially if you get the 15 inch, but it's usable, it's, it worked just fine. So that kind of sold me on Final Cut Pro. Returned the MacBook Air and went ahead and got a MacBook Pro, but even now I'm kind of thinking that I still got like another week and I can maybe return this and save 500 bucks and go get the MacBook Air just because it will work for what I need. But anyways, so that's the first and main reason is I switched because of Final Cut Pro. The second one is the built-in uh, player QuickTime and that's because I like with QuickTime you can natively do screen capture so if I wanted to record my screen I wanted to give you know do a tutorial on Final Cut Pro or whatever it allows you to record your screen and it's free and it's native to the Mac now with Windows there's really not a good native solution now there's a really old one you can still download from Microsoft I can't even remember what it's called but it's really not that good. It was, it was glitchy. It's just not a good solution. But within the Mac, it's built into the OS. So that's the second major reason I switched. And I will tell you that I honestly still prefer Windows 10. I'm not gonna lie. I like that OS better, but this one's starting to grow on me. But the third reason is the integration. So obviously if you're not in the Apple ecosystem, it doesn't matter. But right now I've got an iPhone, I've got an iPad, I've got an, an Apple Watch, and the way the integration is with Mac OS is just leaps and bounds above what it is on Windows. Now, you may disagree with me, I don't really care, it's my video, but I'm telling you, having used both extensively, the integration is far more better. You know, as far as I get a text, I get a phone call on my iPad or my phone, I can get it right to my computer, I can answer it, I can take the call, respond to texts, no issue. And I also like how I can use my watch to unlock the computer. So really, those are the three reasons that I switched back to Mac. And like I said, I really enjoy it. And kind of another bonus reason is 
With Mac, you know, you've got Boot Camp, which is built in. If you're not familiar with that, Boot Camp is built into the OS and it gives you the ability to install and run Windows on your machine. And it'll boot, boot up, you know, you install it, you reboot, and it boots up in Windows. So all the processing power, all the graphics, it's not a virtual machine, it's an actual Windows on your machine and it runs really well. So that's kind of the fourth unofficial reason is the ability to run Windows. You can have your cake and eat it too, if you will. So if you really have to do something on Windows, then you can just run Boot Camp and you can run Windows on your Mac, which obviously you can't do that with a PC. I mean, you can have a Hackintosh, but um, as far as a laptop and lead to Windows, there's really no way to run Mac OS as far as dual boot that I know of. I mean, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I know for a fact it's not built into the OS like it is with Mac. So that's kind of <clears throat> the, the major reasons why I switched to Mac. Like I said, I really enjoy it. Now, obviously, Mac products, they're always going to be more expensive, except for recently, you know, Microsoft with their own devices like the Surface Pro 4, especially the Surface Book Performance Base, and now the Surface Studio. I mean, they are right up there if not more expensive than apple now in a lot of cases so i mean we can argue that back and forth you know what's more expensive the whole apple tax but in general obviously apple machines made by apple are more expensive we all know this but so anyways those are kind of the main reasons why i switched so if you've got any questions comments please leave them below i'm happy to answer them happy to respond if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and if you've not subscribed please do so Thanks.